Hey everyone, I wanted to do an overview of some new rules and settings changes that we have over at the solver and how this can be used in a variety of ways to improve your process for playing DFS. First of all, I just wanted to note that there's this new settings tab up here, which just defaults to default. Now, what this does is that you can use this to save basically everything slate specific into like your own custom setting. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is create a new one here. And as you can see, for each slate, you're able to have different variations of your settings. Each variation can contain different player pools, custom projections, exposures, advanced settings, and more. So I'll go ahead and create a new one called cache. And I'm just gonna copy the settings from default. Obviously I don't have anything else at the moment. And I'm gonna hit save. I can now make edits to just about anything on this slate and it will save to this cache build here. So for example, let's say I don't wanna play Anthony Richardson because he's a rookie starting his first game. So maybe I don't wanna play him in cash. I can go ahead and uncheck him. I can also set that whenever I'm running cash builds, I wanna make 10 lineups because maybe I just like seeing all 10 lineups. In terms of rules, maybe I wanna maximize the salary cap. I don't wanna to leave too much salary space out there. Um, maybe I want to do just one skilled player per team. And at this point I can go ahead and hit run and this will run as normal, generate some lineups, um, and so on. However, um, the next thing I want to do is I want to create some MME builds. So I can go ahead and make a set called MME. And I want to start from scratch. I just want to make completely new rules. So I'm just going to copy from default settings. Going to hit save. And then for MME, let's say I want to do QB stack. I want to do game stack. I want to avoid tight ends in the flex. Maybe avoid, oppo avoid opposing defense. Um, let's say I want to uncheck some players from my player pool. You know, just completely different things. I can also... Uh, let's say boost certain guys um, These boosts and docks those will also reflect in between sets. So as you can see here I've boosted Jalen Hurts, Sam Howell and Kirk Cousins and if I go back to cash I don't have any of the boosts and I have Anthony Richardson unselected. I think this is extremely useful for players who, pl who play both MME and cash or just tournaments and cash in general because I, for example, will have different settings for my cash builds. I'll have completely different settings with completely different boosts and different rules for, let's say, like single entry. And then I'll have completely different stuff for MME. And this allows you to switch really quickly between the three and, um, and get your lineup. So, you know, the other thing that for me is really big is just saving the number of lineups that I'm running. So I don't have to constantly type how many lineups I want. So for cash, as you can see, this is saved at 10. I think that covers how to use the setting pretty, uh, pretty well. However, I wanna note a very big difference between these settings here and the templates that we have as part of the advanced settings tab. The templates that we have as part of the advanced settings tab, these will never save anything player specific. So these are meant to be used across slates. So if you just have some general rules, like for example, stacking a QB or running a game stack with an opponent player, um, let's say you want like 30% variance or you know max player exposure set to like 80 or something like that, you can um, save this as a template and use it in another slate. So these templates here are only used to save stuff from one template or from one slate into another. Whereas these here save everything player specific. So they will save all the settings, all the advanced settings, any player boosts, any you know manual overwrites and projection, um, your player pool, any of the rules that are player specific. Like if you have, um, you know, at most like these three players here, this type of stuff will not save as a template because the template is meant to be transferred to another slate, but this will save as part of these settings here. 
Um, so I just want to make that extremely clear as I'm sure people will be confused between the two, uh, between the two different, I guess, templates, settings templates that we have. Another good use case for the settings here is to potentially just run different settings for different quarterbacks. So let's say you're playing, you know, three or four different quarterbacks or five or six different quarterbacks. I think it's pretty reasonable to create different settings for each one. So for example, I'm just, I am already have some MME settings that I would like to apply to every single lineup and QB that I'm running, but let's say I wanna make some Deshaun Watson rules and this will be rules that are only used in Deshaun Watson lineups. And then I'll run those separately as I'll show you later. So now I've created this Deshaun Watson rules and now um, I'm just gonna uncheck every single QB and only select Deshaun Watson. So every lineup in this rule set here is gonna be a Deshaun Watson lineup. And then let's say, um, let's say there is like a really chalky wide receiver like Chris Godwin, maybe in Deshaun Watson lineups, I don't really want to play much of Chris Godwin. So I'll go ahead and set a max exposure on Chris Godwin to like 10% and maybe Drake London also 10%. Um, but with other QBs, you know, I want to let these guys get in as, as frequently as, as they want to get in. So um, at this point in time, I can also go ahead and let's say add some Hertz rules. I'm also gonna copy those from MME. Now I'm editing the herds rules here, as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna go here to QB. I'm only gonna select herds, uh, unselect every other QB. And at this point, let's say um, I wanna go to wide receivers. And again, maybe I just want slightly different max exposures here. Maybe I'm okay with having 30% Godwin, 30% London, 30% Jamar Chase. At this point, I can go ahead and let's say create 20 lineups with these herds rules. And then the 20 lineups will be generated here. And then I can go ahead and change the rule, the settings that I'm using to the Deshaun Watson rules. And then I can add 20 more lineups. So as you can see, at this point, I have you know 20 Deshaun Watson lineups, 20 herds lineups, and they're created with the rules that I set in each one of these instances here. So I think if you're only playing five or six QBs and you wanna be very specific in what rules you're using, I think this is a good um, use case for these settings here to be able to set ultra specific uh, rules, ultra specific max exposures, um, player pools, and so on that um, can help you build like very precise lineups.